volcanic eruptions. What to do before, during, and after. Volcanic eruption. It happens when lava and gas are discharged from the vent of the volcano. It can be an non-explosive eruption or explosive eruption. Non-explosive eruption. Eruption where lava just flows out from the crater and gaps along sides of the volcano. It happens when there is less pressure in the magma chamber. Less pressure when magma is located near the Earth's surface. Explosive eruption. Eruption where large amounts of pyroclastic materials are ejected by the volcano into the air. Pyroclastic materials consist of lava, ashes, volcanic glasses, and rocks. This eruption happens when gases in the magma are trapped, causing buildup of pressure in the magma chamber, and as a result, the gases expand very quickly and explode violently. This kind of eruption is also accompanied by an earthquake. Pivox Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology It is an institution responsible in providing information on the activities of volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis. When a volcano begins to give off smoke and ash, Pivox investigates and warns the people living near the area, called Volcanic Danger Zone. Like any other natural calamities, volcanic eruptions can be disastrous. It can cause damage to plants, animals, people, and property. What to do before, during, and after a volcanic eruption? Before a volcanic eruption. Regularly monitor any unusual volcanic activity. Listen to the radio or people of authority for updates and safety instructions. Have an emergency disaster plan in place especially for evacuation and communication. Prepare emergency supplies like flashlights, handles, matches, and first aid kits. Stock some food and water. Evacuate if necessary, especially if the authorities tell you to do so. Prepare masks that are to be used in case of an ashfall or volcanic smog which are very harmful for your health. During a volcanic eruption, stay indoors. Wear masks or cover your nose with damp cloth in avoiding inhaling the volcanic ash or dust present in the air. Keep your food and water well covered. Stay away from low places, rocks, lava, and mud flows are likely to flow towards low-lying areas. If you are staying in the evacuation area, avoid going back to your house while the volcano is erupting. Always listen to the authorities' instructions and updates. After a volcanic eruption After the eruption, do not go back to your house immediately. Wait for the authorities' instructions on when it is safe for you to return at home. Avoid crossing bridges when lahar, mud flow composed of pyroclastic materials, rocky debris, and water flows under it.
When you finally return at home, safely remove the ash from your roots if there was. Check also if your drinking water is clear and if the electrical wirings at home are intact and safe. If you are able, help people that require assistance like infants, elderly, and the disabled. Still, keep updated for authorities' updates and follow-ups. Did you know that all the volcanic activities and eruptions caused harmful effects, still, they have beneficial effects. Here are some of the beneficial effects of volcanic activities or eruptions. It changes the landscape with the formation of mountains, hills, plateaus, and other landforms. Ash and lava make the soil fertile. The har is found to be a good ceramic material, making plant pots, vases, tiles, and other decorative materials. Internal heat associated are potential source of geothermal energy that can be tapped for the production of electricity.